Okay, good afternoon everyone. I'm Logan Cowley and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Turner's dodecahedron using Procreo software. Um, first off, a dodecahedron is a 12-sided uh, platonic solid. All 12 sides are pentagons of the exact same area. Um, Turner's cube was the original uh, challenge that was given to apprentice machinists and it looks something like this and they were they had to machine this in a uh, in a lathe progressively cutting it uh, in smaller and smaller areas and eventually and the, la the last step that isn't shown in this one is uh, that it was broken each one of the individual uh, cubes was broken free using either a dovetail or an angled cutter and that would allow the cubes to be free floating inside the respective larger cubes. Now I'm going to be attempting to show you how to do this only using a, um, a dodecahedron. So the first step is open up Creo. Okay. Get this full screen, minimize this menu here. I'm going to set my working directory. This is very important if you want anything to save in a place where you can find it. So I'm going to click OK there. And I'm going to create a new part and I'm going to call it uh, Turner's Dodec. And it's support you're not allowed to have spaces in your part names. I'm going to use the default template which basically is the inch pound system and just if you're not in that system you can go to file properties units inch pound second and if you need to change that you can go here and set that but I'm going to leave it for now okay the first thing you want to do is go over here to your menu and click sketch pick your sketching plane I'm going to pick the top plane and then you can just middle mouse click or click the sketch button and it'll choose your default settings now rather than trying to figure out how to draw the base pentagon I'm just going to go over here to this handy tool called palette and we can we can just insert a pentagon double click that and then click the screen and then if you grab it by the center point here you can you can move it around but if you put it right like that now it's snapped to the uh, to the center and you can see its default size is, is quite large um, for this tutorial, I'm going to pick. Oops, I'm going to pick this dimension just by double clicking and entering two inches. And if we go up here to zoom window, so now you can see that all the sides and this L1 constraint makes it so that all the sides are exactly the same. Click the check mark and default orientation. As you can see, it's now we've created this uh, base pentagon, and we're going to go ahead selecting that. If you go to edit, fill, that'll just fill it in with a, a solid, uh, solid texture. And again, you can pan like that using the holding the middle mouse key. And if you need to pan, hold the shift and middle mouse, and that allows you to navigate around. 